Hey guys how are all of you beautiful people? Hope all of you are doing great this is in Marvel I am God. Were Endless Trans migrated the timeline of Wolverine 3 and became the last mutant of the old era. At the moment, the X-Men have long since disbanded, mutant is no longer brilliant, Wolverine is entering old age, and the entire race is in peril. Fortunately, he found that when he watched battles he could obtain the opponent's abilities. So let's start this story, relax and enjoy. It's like under a night sky dyed with thick ink. In the gloomy cemetery, weak moonlight spilled into the garden, covering everything with a shallow silver veil. The air around you is extremely humid. The wind blowing and the cold is blowing, and everything is silent. Harvey in front of Dent's grave. Bruce. Wayne's heavy gasps became more pronounced. His pupils shook, and he suddenly reacted as he looked at the empty coffin in front of him, Harvey. Dante didn't die. 35. The corpse that should have been buried has disappeared. Not true. Then. Catoman's pretty face suddenly became serious. Although I also feel that the scene in front of me is extremely strange, I have naturally had the courage and heart beyond ordinary people to be able to blend in the shadows of Gotham for so many years. She squinted her eyes and leaned down and reached out to grab a little of the cover by Endless and Bruce. Wayne shoveled dirt. The slender white fingers twisted and rubbed them delicately, and then put them on the tip of the nose to sniff lightly. This dirt has not been excavated for a long time, at least for a month. Catoman raised her eyes that were usually full of charm, but now looked serious and serious, that is to say, when burying the coffin, Harvey. Dante was no longer lying in the coffin. He wasn't buried. As soon as she said it, she was immediately met with Bruce. Wayne's objection. Impossible. He twisted his brows and mused, I saw Harvey with my own eyes. Dante's death, he lost it right before my eyes roar stopped beating, how can he still be alive? Bruce. When Wayne said this, his tone was very determined. For a person who has watched the loss of vital signs with his own eyes, it is naturally difficult for him to believe that the other party is actually alive. Catom and Selina heard the other party's rebuttal and didn't say more. Glanced at the empty coffin, narrowed his eyes slightly, and walked to the inside of the coffin 527 and leaned over to check it. All the silk cloth inside is very neat, and there is no trace of heavy weight. 35. She slowly closed the distance, her eyes carefully observed and she opened her mouth to recount the information she had gathered. Speaking, the tall nose also sniffed lightly. And there wasn't any smell, not even a smell that no one else had touched. At this point, Catoman straightened up and looked at Bruce. Wayne, at least it's certain that this coffin never had any bodies placed. Even before the burial, whether it was opened or not is a question. Then, she turned her gaze to Endless, Chen, I want to hear what you think about this matter. Although Catoman and Endless have had several unpleasant troubles with each other. But it is undeniable that when dealing with the Riddler before, this guy showed a super high detection ability. For this, Catoman Selina is convinced. Bruce, who has the same understanding of Endless. Wayne looked at him with the same expectant expression. Yet the next second. Endless brows furrowed, and then he slowly spoke, and his answer was unexpected, Harvey. Dante was already dead, but the body was not buried in a coffin. This statement came out. Be it Bruce. Wayne and Catom and Selina both had puzzled and surprised expressions on their faces. Who could be the body that should have appeared in the coffin, but is now gone, and all the Harvey dent in Jessica's mouth? Bruce. 
Wayne immediately questioned with strong doubts. In fact, he had already accepted Kat Oman's statement a little. After all, a body was not brought for burial, did not appear in the coffin that should have appeared. Exclude the very few people who have a special fetish for corpses. There is only one possibility left. That is, he is not dead at all. Otherwise take Jessica and Harvey. How could Dante's feelings not give him a funeral after his brother died? So, Bruce. Wayne questioned Endless as he spoke his analysis. Harvey in Jessica's mouth. Who is Dent? The answer is simple, it's herself. Endless's expression was calm, and his tone did not fluctuate, because he was just telling the truth. As for the bodies that disappeared inside the coffin. I should be clear, Harvey. Dante was not buried at all. His body was never put in a coffin. He continued to speak slowly. Bruce. After hearing Endless say this, the expression on Wayne's face suddenly became gloomy, and his eyes flickered. He definitely understood what Endless was trying to say. If the other party's statement is correct, it means Harvey in Jessica's mouth. Dante simply doesn't exist. And in the same way, she's been saying lately, Harvey. Dante will create panic and chaos throughout Gotham, most likely Jessica herself planned. For this case, Bruce. Wayne wouldn't believe it. He felt from the bottom of his heart that Jessica, who had always been kind by nature, a woman he had loved deeply, would do such a thing. As the thoughts progress. Bruce. Wayne's gaze became more and more gloomy, and a pair of eyes seemed to turn into a deep swamp. Bruce, the truth of the matter is like this, believe it or not. Endless to Bruce. Wayne's questioning did not take it to heart at all. He can feel the emotions in the other party's heart, and such a situation can only be said to be concerned and chaotic. After all, at this time, the young Batman still suffered too little damage. It is also normal to be unable to accept the woman you have loved for a while, and to degenerate into an evil riot initiator. And, you didn't mean tonight, Harvey. Is Dante going to start a riot in Gotham? Endless then added, just look at the past. Hear this. Bruce. Wayne turned and left, well, like you said, what you see with your own eyes is more real than anything. He was ready to head to Harvey tonight. Where Dante will appear. This is where Jessica told him. After taking a look at Catoman, Endless immediately raised his feet and followed. He is with Bruce. Wayne's deal was to solve Jessica's illness. And if there is a riot tonight, it will naturally have nothing to do with Jessica, so naturally I have to go. And it's too late to find the Flash even if you go to Central City, so why not go see Bruce Wayne and his crazy Gotham? As for Catoman, after seeing Endless and the others leave in a hurry, she thought about it for a while and followed. After all, she was with Bruce. Wayne, but an ally. You can't just sit idly by. Meanwhile. Bang. In the city of Gotham shrouded in night. Harvey. The riot that Dante spoke of has begun. In the city, there are shocking explosions everywhere and the ground trembles, and it can even be said that the roar is not heard at all. Appalling. There are countless people who go to the streets with guns and riot, and what is even more terrifying is that these people, simply aimless, running around. When I see something, I rush in and smash it. Seeing ordinary residents in panic, they brutally injured and caused death and injury. Men and women, the elderly, the sick, the sick, and the disabled, do not let go. If a beautiful woman is unfortunately caught by them, there will be countless people scrambling and flocking to it. 
Such a scene can be said to be seen on dozens of streets in Gotham. It was a riot that spread across nearly half of Gotham. Although the police station was prepared, as soon as the riot began, countless police cars sounded their alarms, flashing police lights and speeding through the streets and alleys, rushing to the location where there was a riot. But there are too many people who are helplessly involved in the riot. The scope is too wide. Even if all the police officers of the Gotham Police Department are sent to participate in the crackdown, they still feel difficult in the face of the rioting crowd. Then, three figures landed on the eaves of the tall buildings overlooking the street in Gotham. They are naturally endless, and Catwoman and Batman Bruce, who have changed into their battle uniforms. Wayne. Crazy Gotham, it's terrifying. Endless looked at the riotous crowd all over the street and shook his head. In such a depressing environment, there are many people who will not miss any opportunity to release stress. They took the opportunity to take to the streets with the team, venting the anger that had been squeezed for a long time. I don't believe that such a riot could have been planned by Jessica. Bruce. Wayne looked at the scene in front of him like hell on earth, still muttering incredulously. Subsequently, he did not forget his identity as a vigilante and took out the hook claw, no matter what the truth is, these guys in front of you should be solved as soon as possible. However, as soon as his voice fell. Rumble. A terrifying explosion, ten times louder than all previous explosions suddenly came from the city center and resounded throughout the Gotham night sky. You can even see the fire of the explosion, soaring into the sky, and even the ground trembles. That's the direction of my old house. Bruce. When Wayne heard this movement, he turned his head and looked at the change in his face. Even from a distance of dozens of streets, you can see the blazing fire. That place is the old home of the Wayne family. Acom. Or Arkham. It was his mother's old home, the Acom family's turf. However, the old house was uninhabited many years ago because of a murder. But Bruce. Wayne does not tolerate others destroying Acom, a place that is part of the Wayne family. Even if few people in family history choose to recognize. Thinking, he hurriedly jumped downstairs. In the process of falling, the cloak made of special memory molecular materials behind him instantly energized and turned into the shape of a paraglider zero. At night, Batman is like a bat with its wings gliding, easily gliding from dozens of high-rise buildings to the road. Batman of this period had not yet built a Batmobile. So he could only borrow a car at random on the side of the road and sped in the direction of his old home. Endless and Catoman glanced at each other. Then they followed. The other side. Batman Bruce of the motorist sedan. Wayne, all the way to the throttle, rushed to the scene in a short time. A flick to stop. Then he kicked the car door directly and quickly jumped down. The old house in front of him is covered in raging fire, emitting endless firelight, shrouding everything hundreds of meters around in a hot and heat wave, while dyeing everything with a layer of orange. Damn. Who did it? 35. Bruce. Wayne's eyes reflected the sky, and he was furious. Then. Brother, I think you are so wrong. This is a complete point of no return. Nope. The city is rotten and there is no cure. Only after all are knocked down can you be reborn. 5. Bruce. Wayne suddenly heard a loud argument between male and female voices. Looking for prestige, he easily caught a car parked right in front of the burning house of the fire. Inside the car were sitting two figures a man and a woman. They are entangled with each other, constantly angry and arguing. Bruce. 
As soon as Wayne saw them, his face changed dramatically. He recognized the identity of the other party. It was Jessica and her brother, Harvey. Dent. Harvey. Dante really didn't die. And he also planned tonight's riot. Bruce. As Wayne's thoughts progressed, the expression on his face became more gloomy, and his eyes were rage and complex. He was angry because the other party started a riot. Angry after blowing up his old house. Also because I don't understand why Harvey who is clearly in great difficulty does not die. Dent, it will suddenly become what it is. He was about to succeed to the mayor before, but he was a man who enforced the law impartially and was jealous as a hater, and regarded Gotham as his home. It can be called the opposite of the Dark Knight Batman, the Light Knight who walks in the sun. It is also because of this that he will win the majority of supporters in the mayoral election. Outcome Because after experiencing a life and death, did you change your temperament greatly, 35. Bruce Mumbling and sighing, he had already taken a step and approached the car in which the brother and sister were riding. And opposite. The arguing in the car became more and more intense. No, no. Brother, if we really go this way, we can't turn back, 99. Jessica's voice was filled with crying. Damn. What do you understand? What do you understand? 35. There is no hope for the city anymore. My previous insistence didn't make any sense at all. Fuck. Harvey. Dante seemed indignant, hissing and going crazy with a 3.0 tone. In the end, he didn't even seem to be able to bear Jessica's bitter pleading anymore, and actually raised his gun. Harvey. Stop. Bruce. When Wayne saw this picture, his heart immediately tightened, for fear that the other party would hurt Jessica, and suddenly accelerated and rushed over. He directly pulled the door open and pulled Harvey off the main driver's seat. Dent. Poof. However, when he pulled the man, he found that the other party's limbs were weak and fell directly to the ground. Damn. 35. Bruce. Wayne looked at the figure that fell at his feet, his pupils shrank sharply, and his heart shook. That's not a living person at all. It's the dead Harvey. Dent. He had long since turned into a cold corpse, and his burned face was crawling with maggots. An unconcealable rancid smell came from the surface, and the thick juice splashed on the ground as it had just fallen. Harvey. Is Dante really dead? Bruce. Wayne looked at the corpse at his feet and for a moment, it was difficult to come back to his senses, immersed in the accident. Since this guy is really dead. So who caused the chaos in Gotham City tonight? Just as he was stunned. Inside the car. Jessica in the sub-seat. Dante raised his gun towards Bruce. Under the blazing light of the burning fire of the old house on the side. Her eyes were red and the tears on her face were crystal clear, and the scar on her left cheek from the burn was unusually hideous. The Dark Knight Bruce Wayne, good night. Jessica. Dante had a strange smile on his lips, and his brother Harvey's deep voice sounded in his throat. Words fall. She pulled the trigger sharply. The muzzle sprays sparks and the bullet spins and shoots out rapidly. Bang! Under the dark night. A huge old mansion burned with a roaring fire, and the heat was rolling in, and the crackling sound of something being burned continued one after another. Jessica in the car had tears on her face and pulled the trigger with a sly smile on her face. Bang! The huge amounts of pistol roar echoed in the open space in front of the old mansion, wafting into the night sky. 
The muzzle spewed flames, and the bullet spun out of the chamber and went straight towards Bruce. Wayne shoots away. Damn it. Bruce. Although Wayne was surprised, in the other party's hand, the muzzle of the black hole hole was aimed at him, and Harvey came out of his mouth. When Dante spoke, he already reacted. The legs moved together, wanting to flash to the side. Unfortunately, Jessica shot too fast and hardly hesitation. Next second. The bullet still hit Bruce. Above Wayne's chest. Clang. Fortunately, he is now wearing a Batman battle suit, and he has bulletproof materials on his chest as a barrier. The bullet kinetic energy is huge but it doesn't really run through his body, it's just Bruce. Wayne felt like he had suffered a smotherly blow, although the dull pain instantly spread to his whole body, and even raw sucking stopped. But not to the point where life is at risk. It's just that Jessica in the car saw that a shot did not work, and the expression on her face did not change in any other way, she just pressed down the muzzle and prepared to continue shooting. The eyes are indifferent like looking at a dead man, and the slender fingers pull the trigger again. Bang. Another gunshot. Bruise though. After seeing through the movements of the woman in the car, Wayne rolled to the side without hesitation. Everything happened too quickly, and he was still a little confused when dodging. Harvey. Dent is really dead. The brother who has been nagged by Jessica is naturally just out of her fantasy, and at this moment, the riot in the entire Gotham is really set off by this once kind woman. Bruce. Wayne at the moment, he only felt that his thoughts turned into a mess with the impact of one thing after another. I can't figure it out at all. Or, even if he had heard Endless say it before, at the moment he had even witnessed it, the truth was already in front of his eyes. But Bruce. Wayne instinctively didn't want to admit it. The woman who has always trusted and entrusted her emotions unexpectedly. Became like this. Harvey. Dante, the man he had high hopes for and even hopefully, that Gotham would not need Batman, died. And his sister has also become one of the sources of chaos in Gotham. 03 Bruce Wayne couldn't even find any exact words to describe his mood at the moment. I just feel that there is something that I have always kept in my heart, and with all this and everything happening, it's shattered into powder. Bang! Right in Bruce. While Wayne was in his thoughts, Jessica, who had a strange smile on her face, stood up directly from the car. The muzzle in his hand was still pointed at him. Another shot. However, Bruce is already prepared in his heart. Wayne had already avoided the muzzle in the latter's hand in advance when the other party raised his hand. His body is strong and his strength and fighting skills can be said to be the pinnacle among ordinary people, but in the end, he is still an ordinary person. Therefore, it is impossible to rely on reaction and speed to really avoid a loaded bullet. But as long as you dodge the muzzle of the gun pointed at you, you can prevent the bullet from hitting you. This is great for Bruce. Wayne said it was a breeze. Bang bang. After Jessica missed another shot, she looked even more hideous and fired several shots in succession. It's just Bruce. Wayne's figure is agile, and under the blazing fire behind him, he is as dexterous as a real bat. Easily dodged the woman's gunshot. Jessica. Wake up, you shouldn't be like this, 55. Bruce. Wayne tries to shout raw between shots to regain Jessica's original personality. However, Jessica, whose temperament changed greatly and was full of sly smiles, was not moved at all. Bang. Click click. Jessica, who fired the last shot and pulled the trigger to find that the magazine was empty, 
threw the gun away. Jessica. She's with me now. With disgust in her eyes, she stared at Batman, who had finally stood still, and Harvey Dent's voice came out of her mouth, Bruce. Wayne, you fucking coward. Hugh wants to defile my sister, 99. Word by word sounds, even with Harvey. Dante himself is no different. Jessica, hurry up and get back to your senses. You can't go on like this. I know you're sad that the abominable Riddler killed your brother, but if you do the same, won't you also become the Riddler's kind? Bruce. After hearing the other party's words, Wayne became more and more anxious to persuade. Bruce. I. I can't control it. Then. The strange smile on Jessica's face suddenly disappeared, her eyes quickly turned red, two lines of tears flowed, and her voice trembled and despaired. However, it's only half a sentence. Gotham is finished, Bruce. Don't you understand? Jessica's expression became distorted again, no one can save this city. Because everything here is rotten to the bone. Even if a twisted seed grows, it can only produce twisted flowers. In her throat, Harvey. Dante's voice grew more and more intense, everything needs to be torn down and restarted, Bruce. Harvey. Dante. Let Jessica out, I'm going to talk to her. 35. Bruce. Wayne ignored the other party's crazy words and just spoke so coldly. He knows that a person has a split personality, that is, there are two personalities that do not affect each other and are independent. In the case of one of the personalities showing excitement, be submissive to the other person and not continue to resist the aggravated stimulus. Bruce. Gotham is not so chaotic because of the existence of any evil. Jessica still has Harvey in her mouth. Dante's crazy voice, nothing cleans up the criminals, and the city will be in better condition. 5. Stop trying to save the city. It's sinly. As she spoke. Her eyes widened, and there was madness rolling inside, your appearance makes those who shouldn't have stayed feel that bats can save everything. But. I'm going to end it all now. The voice fell. Jessica was already holding a remote control in her trembling hand. We planted a bomb here, and it will make those people understand that Batman can't save Gotham City, he can't even save himself. The smile on the woman's face suddenly became more and more distorted. Good night, dark night. No. Calm down Jessica, 99. Bruce. Seeing this, Wayne couldn't help but widen his eyes and shouted to stop the other party. It's just that Jessica is not moved at all, and her finger has already pressed the button on the remote control. However, the next second... Jessica's fingers froze, and the whole person froze in place. Bruce. Wayne was also stunned when he saw this. Suddenly. Everything around fell silent, except for the crackling of the burning old mansion. The flames of the blazing flames will stand opposite Bruce. Wayne and Jessica cast two dark shadows on the ground that were constantly swinging. Trample. Trample. A sound of footsteps from Bruce. Wayne came from behind. He turned his head to look. The person who came was really endless. Bruce, you should believe what I say this time, right? Endless came over and patted Bruce. Wayne's shoulder calmly said, everyone always has the darkest side hidden in their hearts but they just need an opportunity to release proudly. 9. Anybody is so. Bruce. Wayne heard the sound with an extremely complicated expression, glanced at Jessica, who was already frozen in place, and quietly breathed a sigh of relief. Thank you. 35. 
He spoke softly, a little tired. You damn necromancer, let me go, 35. Do you think that by speaking full of great reasoning, you can hide the fact that you are also a butcher? It's all homicide, what's the difference between us? You two are the scum who should be removed. Jessica still uses Harvey. Dante's voice scolded. It seems that in this Harvey. Dense seem, it seems, are maggots wriggling in the bottomless abyss. You'd better send her to Arkham Asylum. This kind of thing with split personality, the brain has been damaged, and it is not only a psychological problem. Endless stopped what the other party said and turned to Bruce. Wayne laughed. Bruce. Wayne took a deep look at Jessica, who had a twisted expression at the moment, and took a breath, okay, but before then, can you help me recover her? 35. Saying that, he immediately added, I am willing to pay a million knives for this. He already knew that Endless could control the mind. Meanwhile, Bruce. Wayne couldn't accept to continue looking at Jessica as she was now. Yes, yes. Endless thought for a while and frowned, but I don't need money, I just hope you can find what I want quickly. Immediately, he took out the pre-drawn picture of Kryptonite and handed it to Bruce. Wayne. After the other party takes it. Endless walked slowly to Jessica. What are you trying to do, strange necromancer? In the frightened gaze and scolding of the other party, he gently raised his hand and pointed at the center of the woman's eyebrows. Jessica's second personality, Harvey. Dante, suddenly realizing that he was going to be erased, immediately cursed. Shet. You damn necromancer, let go of your hands. I understand the essence of Gotham City, and now I am the most sober. Why do you always have so much hostility towards someone who holds the truth? Ah. Uh. As a result, the cursing in the other party's mouth did not continue, and the words in the mouth were instantly replaced by a scream. Endless didn't care at all about what the other party said. No matter what she scolds, it doesn't matter. Suddenly the mind ability. Next second. The screams stopped abruptly. Jessica's character returns, and the crazy subpersonality born after the Riddler's attack suddenly disappears without a trace. His originally distorted hideous face immediately relaxed, and then his whole body slumped directly on the ground. Bruce, I'm sorry. Jessica raised her head, and her whole pretty face was once again covered with tears. Poof. The voice did not fall. Jessica lost consciousness and passed out on the ground with her eyes closed. Jessica. Bruce. Seeing this, Wayne rushed up and hugged the unconscious Jessica, confirming that the other party was only unconscious and the rest of his vital signs were stable. Only then did he raise his head and say to Endless seriously, Thank you. Then. Cat Omen arrived in a hurry, and after seeing Endless move, she couldn't help but scold secretly, Freak. At the same time, he was angry, and he obviously came with him just now. Then, in the blink of an eye, Endless had disappeared. When I came here, I found that this mysterious teenager had already come to the scene by himself. However, Cat Omen's expression when she looked at Endless also changed, and she always felt that the other party had a mysterious charm that attracted her. And when Endless heard the word freak, he couldn't help but turn his head and ridicule Cat Omen, little cat, is it not well behaved again? After this sentence, Cat Omen Selena paused, pursing her lips and being a little speechless. Does this guy have to tease her every time? However, she also inexplicably found that she didn't seem to be so resistant to endless slightly offensive words. Then his face became strange. Secretly said, 
Oops. Then. But there was a long siren sounding, starting from far and near. Finally, the police began to come this way. It's time for us to go. Endless immediately spoke. Good. Bruce. Wayne nodded, put Jessica in a safe and conspicuous location, and waited for the police car to come into view before he left. Not for a while. The police arrived and indeed found Jessica lying on the ground as soon as possible. Why is the mayor here? Damn. It must have been kidnapped by those rioters. Hurry up and see if the mayor is okay, 35. Time is ticking. In Gotham City, the Grand Riot was finally subsided by 527 with the assistance of the Dark Knight. Afterwards. A rooftop overlooking all the previous riot streets. The three of Endless stood here at the Demon King of this devastated city after experiencing chaos and madness. Alas. Bruce. Wayne looked at it for a long time and couldn't help but sigh in a low voice, I thought that this city would be crazy, but I didn't expect that the people around me would also have such an encounter. 39. When I learned that Jessica was even the initiator of this riot, I almost wondered if there really was no light in the world. 99. What I'm doing, doesn't it really make sense? Endless did not speak. Just thought to myself, Bruce. Wayne, aren't you a madman? At this time, Bruce. Wayne's cell phone rang. Afu, what's wrong? He picked up the phone. Endless didn't listen to the other side of the phone. But I also know that at this time, Batman's butler, Alfred, called, and nine out of nine would be because of Jessica's affairs. When Bruce Wayne hung up the phone, he was ready to turn around and leave. I have something urgent, let's go first. Just after turning his head and saying a word, he jumped directly off the genius, the cloak stirred, raised his hand and shot out a hook claw, the rope contracted, and the figure moved quickly in one direction. It soon disappeared into the thick night. Endless raised an eyebrow, knowing that this night would make young Batman grow a lot. Then he looked at Catwoman and Selina, who was still next to him. Looking at each other, the bumpy lines outlined by the tights swept over. He smiled and said, I have no place to live, can I go to your place? Catwoman took two steps back, looking a little entangled and then smiled, catch up with me, you will come. When the words fell, he jumped downstairs. Next second. Endless also jumped down, accelerated slightly, and quickly pasted it. Subsequently. Catwoman felt a heat behind her, and a force came from her waist, carrying herself to the deep space. You still fly. She felt the oncoming air current, looking at the gradually approaching moon, her eyes were shocked. Endless smiled and spoke softly, exhaling hot air, take me to your house. Meanwhile. In Gotham City, in a corner. Oh. There was a figure lying on the ground, covering his head and crying, his shoulders constantly shrugging. It seems that something extremely terrifying has happened, and I am terrified. Cries echoed through the laneways. At this time, a policeman carrying a flashlight came from the mouth of the alley. He hit the pillar of light in his hand on the figure and walked up quickly. Sir, what happened? Need help, 35. The policeman asked in a deep voice. Gotham is not going to be alive tonight. Ha 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 ha. However. The figure suddenly raised its head, and the cry suddenly turned into wanton laughter. Boom. The torch fell to the ground and smashed. The policeman retreated in horror, and his abdomen was quickly stained red with blood. The one who looked up to the sky and laughed wildly. 
His expression was crazy, and his eyes were extremely hideous. With a joker look. Raw. On the night sky of Gotham City. Suddenly, a strong airflow surged out of thin air, and it seemed that something was flying by at high speed. It's a pity that no matter who looks up, there is nothing to see, only a thick dark cloud that has been torn open by something to open a ravine. And Endless perceived Catoman's body that was trembling for shock or other reasons, and smiled slightly. The two of them are flying at high speed. Endless had distorted the refraction of light around his body, so he wasn't worried about them being seen. Then, under Catoman's command, they flew to the apartment where she lived. Not outdated. Two people have already arrived at their destination. Endless entered the room from the window sill. I took a look at the layout of Catoman's boudoir. It is a girly pink decoration. The walls are plastered with posters of various charming actresses. There was also a black cat lying on the ground, looking at the strange man who had returned with his owner suspiciously. And Catoman Selena next to her is still shocked by the flight just now. She never imagined that she would one day soar into the sky in such a way. Thinking. Catoman looked at Endless Skays and became more and more shocked. How can humans actually complete flight on their own? Chen, how many secrets do you have? At this moment, she was extremely curious about the young and mysterious looking man in front of her. Catoman thought back to the ability she had known to the other person. Not only can you use magical witchcraft-like abilities to manipulate other people's minds. And from Bruce. The super self-healing ability that Wayne learned about and the terrifying power that is far beyond human beings. Plus, the flight ability that I just experienced myself. Time. The endless in Catoman's eyes was suddenly filled with an inexplicable magic power. Mighty, mysterious, unknown. Endless felt that the woman had developed a strong curiosity about herself, and immediately smiled. What necromancer will do, I'm afraid it will be beyond your imagination. 35. He used a joking tone. Actually, before today. I had a hard time believing it. Catoman looked at Endless, took off her mask with a black cat, and revealed a face with delicate features. A pair of watery eyes with a hint of softness that turns thousands of times. But now I'm willing to see it. A touching smile also bloomed on her face. With that, she picked up her black cat and put it out the window. Close the windows and close the curtains. Turning around again, Catoman looked at Endless, bit her sexy red lips, and her eyes flashed with a smile. Endless was slightly stunned when he saw this. How do you feel like you've been hooked? He is going to be pushed back to the rhythm. For a while, the young man's face suddenly froze. Catoman Selina also narrowed her eyes when she saw him standing in place, and a trace of doubt appeared on her beautiful face. Could it be that your charm is no longer good? She raised her eyes, her eyebrows raised slightly, and then she felt that she understood, no, this little guy must be scared. After all, it's just an 18-19 year old boy, and in fact, compared to other places, it's just a little harder. Thinking. Catoman's mind suddenly appeared of endless shy and helpless appearance when facing her mature big sister. The corners of his mouth couldn't help but outline a smile of style, and his jewel-like clear eyes looked at the teenager on the other side. She raised her eyebrows defiantly, and gently teased, Chen, can you do it? and Endless naturally took the other party's expression completely into his eyes. At the same time, the ability of the mind is also telling him what Catoman thinks in his heart. Knowing that he was looked down upon, he suddenly became angry. In the end, 
Endless raised an eyebrow and took a step forward. Danically line. Next second. The lights went out. There was a burst of shock in the darkness raw times. Meow, meow. At night. The black cat that was locked out of the window made a long bark. It is clear that it is late autumn and winter, but its call makes people feel a breath of spring. Not far from the apartment. There is a construction site. It was clearly late at night, but there was still a pile driver running. While working, a dull crashing sound is constantly heard. I don't know if the surrounding residents will complain about them. Meow. After a while, the black cat outside the window suddenly let out a sharp chirp again. It seems to have been stimulated by something, frightened. Blah blah. It turned out that it was the dark clouds over Gotham City, which had never dispersed, and finally brewed. A sudden rain fell on the entire city. The rain drenched the streets of the city and flowed through the hidden alleys. Penetrate into those gaps between masonry. Left a slippery and muddy place. Even every little grass on all the meadows was covered with raindrops. This night. Endless showed Catoman all his abilities. The hardness of the body of steel, super speed and super strength. And the terrifying resilience of the super self-healing factor. There are even tiny electric currents that lightning ability can make. Catoman Selena had obviously been mentally prepared before this, but. She really realized tonight. What is called. Ebb and flow. Blossom thanks. Meanwhile. Marvel Universe. New York City. The drenched estate, where all the lights have been extinguished. Wanda tossed and turned and couldn't sleep, her brows furrowed as if she was annoyed. The light and smooth close-fitting silk pajamas on the body outline the girl's posture delicately. Chen, disappeared again. I haven't seen him for a long time. Thinking, the girl sighed faintly and turned over again. As for the others, they have long been asleep. And they didn't notice that outside the manor, a figure hurriedly walked by. The man walked all the way to the alley in the distance and dialed the phone. Chief Hill. It's me. The phone was connected, and the voice of the Hill agent came from the other end. We found that the Endless seemed to have suddenly disappeared again, and no matter where we looked, we couldn't see him. The man said a lot in one breath. Are you sure? In the earpiece, Hill's tone became solemn and asked quickly. I'm sure. This S.H.I.E.L.D person in charge of scouting, the tone is affirmative. Okay, I see, you guys continue to watch, don't get close, and don't be discovered, otherwise it will be very troublesome. Yes, sir home. Then. Hill, who was sitting in the office, hung up the phone, and then couldn't help but take a deep breath. The delicate brow slowly frowned. Endless disappeared again. What is he going to do? Copying ability again. Time. Countless questions flashed through her mind. What is certain, though, is that there may be a lot of things involved. Thereupon, Hill quickly collected his thoughts and came to Nick with a solemn face. Fury's office. Report the news you just received to the other party. Endless that guy disappeared again. Still no one saw how he disappeared. Nick. When Fury learned about this, his face was also not relaxed, and his eyes were cloudy. Now that the vast majority of people with special abilities on the entire planet are being monitored by us, it is certain that Endless has not touched them. He muttered in a deep voice, where can Endless go? Including the last time he disappeared, I don't know where this guy went, and his strength has increased a lot since he came back. 
Could it be that there are still many super ability people we don't know? Time. Nick Fury only felt his head getting bigger and bigger, and his heart getting more and more irritable. After pondering for a while, he said to Hill again, let your people observe for two more days, and they must stare at that drenched manner. Said, Nick. The haze on Fury's face deepened, if Endless still doesn't appear, then we can't wait any longer. At this point, he paused and took a deep breath, when the time comes, go directly to Charles, 99. Charles. Isn't this clearly about tearing his face and directly fighting Endless? Hill was stunned when he heard this, and immediately thought of the consequences of such an action. But Endless has not shown that he intends to shoot S-H-I-E-L-D. She looked at Nick. Fury, word by word, said seriously, actually, I think he prefers to live in peace. 35. Although we, S.H.I.E.L.D, have suffered blows, it is also based on the fact that the people of the contingent actively violated the territory of the other side. Endless has not touched S.H.I.E.L.D since he issued his second warning. Nick. Fury listened to Hill's words, his face darkening. Subsequently. Enough. Boom. He got up abruptly, slammed the table in front of him, and stared at the woman in front of him with a gasp. You don't understand anything. Don't let me hear such ridiculous words again. As long as we don't provoke Endless, we'll be fine. Hum, big joke. Nick. Fury's face was hideous, and he snorted coldly twice, Mutant will not never learn to live together peacefully, as long as they have extraordinary ability, they will one day show their minions to the world. Didn't we not believe in Mutant? and even let the smartest of them into Congress, and the result. They didn't even be able to live peacefully between their own races, and the whole of America was stirred into a pot of porridge by this group of mongrels. Monja Fark. Endless must deal with it, must make him pay the price. Every word he said was full of fire. Subsequently. The office fell silent. Nick. Fury and Hill looked at each other, neither of them continuing to speak. But the eyes are full of fortat. Then. There was a knock on the door. Hawkey Barton pushed the door in, noticed the tense atmosphere of the scene, and raised an eyebrow. Then walked to Nick. Fury approached and handed the report in his hand to the table. Head, after our debugging. It is confirmed that the brainwave strengthening machine in the underground secret room of the Xavier Genius Academy is still working normally. At the same time, Hawkey opened his mouth to report. However, because it has not been in operation and warranty for too long, some parts of the machine have become old and rusted, and parts need to be replaced for repair. 39. Otherwise it's easy to break but overall there is no big problem. Finish talking. He noticed that Hill was staring at him with a strange gaze, with complicated eyes. Hill, what's wrong? Hawkey asked. However, Hill agent didn't answer at all, turned around and strode away. She already knew what Charles' intention was to capture him. This made her more and more interested in Nick. Fury was dissatisfied. And Nick. Fury took a deep look at the back of her departure, then set his eyes on Hawkey. If Hill doesn't follow orders by then, it's up to you to capture Charles. 35. His face was ugly, and he said in a deep voice, we need him to start the brainwave strengthening machine. Nick. Fury understands that Hill, despite his ability, is definitely not a good subordinate who will dedicate himself to completing tasks. She has her own subjective thoughts and will not think that she will follow orders. Therefore, 
the person who completes the task needs to choose someone else. Hawkey Barton in front of him is a good subordinate. Sure enough. Hawkey heard Nick. After Fury gave himself the task, he nodded without hesitation, Yes, sir. Go down. Nick. Fury waved his hand. After the other person leaves. As if he had lost all his strength, he leaned back in the chair behind God. Staring at the file sent by Hawkey in front of him, he put his hand to his chin, his eyes flickered, and he fell into deep thought. The other side. DC Universe. The rain fell all night and finally stopped near dawn. The clouds dispersed to reveal a clear sky. A sun slowly rises in the sky. Inside the apartment room. From the gap in the curtain, sunlight cast a pillar of light into the room, just spilling on endless space. After some hard work, he slowly opened his eyes. Listening to the even sound of raw sucking in his ears, he glanced sideways at Catoman, who was sleeping dead, and chuckled. Subsequently, Endless put on his pants, went to the balcony and lit a cigarette. With a pleasant face, he lit a cigarette. Although he doesn't usually smoke much, at the moment this scene always feels that it is complete to accompany one. Raw. Endless turned his back to the railing, let out a long puff of smoke, and his gaze gently swept over Catoman's Selena's face. Her eyes were closed at the moment, her thick and slender eyelashes were slightly down, and her white face was dyed with two shades of red. It seems to sleep deeply. Like a child who is overtired after playing crazy. I didn't expect this trip to be unexpected. 35. Endless brought the cigarette to his mouth, shook his head with a smile, and sighed with emotion. Then. Catoman Selena seemed to feel endless gaze, her long eyelashes twitched, and then sat up. Li Hao, lightly hit Hatcher, bleary-eyed, raised his hand and stretched his posture. Good morning. Endless smiled at this lazy little meow and spoke softly. Catoman sniffed and glanced at each other. I saw a young man on the balcony, leaning on the railing, bathing in the sun. His eyes were clear, and his beautiful face was covered with a warm smile. She paused. HMPH. Then he snorted softly in a little annoyance, pulled up the quilt that had just slipped off to wrap himself, and continued to lie on his side with his back to endless. Catoman felt the slightest pain that was still there, and did not want to pay attention to him, leaving only the back of an angry roar roar. Obviously it looks so clean, but it won't be gentle. A bad man with a different appearance. She whispered resentfully. Endless scratched his head a little embarrassed when he heard these two sentences through his extraordinary five senses. The cigarette in my hand is almost finished. Endless extinguished the cigarette but, Selena, I have something to do next to go to Central City and I may have to come back later. Although last night was not shallow. Jean Bruce. Wayne began searching for kryptonite for himself. I also realized that the little cat who looks wild, but is actually very well behaved when it is time to behave. But he did not forget that his goal this time was divine speed. That's the most important thing. Well. Be careful on the road and pay attention to safety. Hearing that Endless was leaving, Catoman Selena's resentment seemed to be much weaker, and although she did not look back, her tone was much softer. Good. Endless nodded gently. Next second. Raw. The figure of the young man on the balcony suddenly flickered and turned into a residual image, and instantly disappeared in place. In the sky, a sharp sonic boom suddenly fell. At the speed of endless now, it has crossed countless distances in just a few tens of seconds, 
from Gotham City to the sky above Central City. He floated, overlooking this great city by the sea. A smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. In many DC events, the Flash has taken on many important roles because of its speed. Barry. Alan, right here. DC World. Center City. The city has developed well in various fields over the years. It has become the center of commerce, architecture and art in the whole country. Known as the jewel of the Midwest. Zero. Although with the development of the times, the opening of Wedge Rock City, a large number of factories and commercial activities have been transferred to Wedge Rock City. As a result, all aspects of the development of Central City began to decline slightly. But the city's heritage remains, with its own advantages. At the moment, in front of a museum in Central City, Endless was standing quietly, looking up at the museum with the Flash logo in front of him. The lightning of this universe has been around for a long time. He murmured. Before coming here, Endless has gone out of his way to look up information about the Flash. The museum's history and location are what he searched online. Thereupon, after arriving at the confines of Central City, Endless immediately came to the museum. According to newspaper records in Central City, the Flash came out almost nine months ago as a vigilante with extraordinary abilities to fight criminals in Central City. Endless recalled the information he had collected before, and then began to analyze it in his mind. But by time and reasoning, Barry... Alan should have gained divine speed because of that laboratory accident about ten months ago. Then, after a series of psychological battles, I decided to become the Flash. Endless thought, although I don't know what kind of appearance and identity he will exist in this universe now. But now there's good news that wherever criminals appear, the Flash will appear. Then, I just need to wait for the criminal to appear. As his thoughts progressed here, he showed a smile, moreover, in this case, as long as the criminal appears, the Flash will naturally activate ability, and I can copy his divine speed power as soon as possible. I don't have to go out of my way to approach him. The thought proceeds here. Endless set his sights on the Flash Museum in front of him. This museum was created by Center City specifically for the Flash. Although he has only appeared for a few months, he has already solved many problems for Central City. That's why he got the honor of having the government of a city build a memorial museum for him two months ago. Then again, Central City is also a city with a very high crime rate. Endless suddenly laughed. Maybe it's superhero and all kinds of troubles, there is a law of 530 mutual attraction, that's why they were born in places where trouble often occurs. Mumbled. He had already walked towards the Flash Museum in front of him. Since you have come, you naturally want to take a look. Maybe you can find more clues about the Flash in it. Thereupon. With that in mind. Endless went to the entrance of the museum, bought a not cheap ticket, and walked into the museum. As he walked, he couldn't help but slander, I said that I was grateful for the flash, but is this definitely not a new means of collecting money from the central city government? Dedicated to leaks for fans of the flash. It is estimated that the flash himself will be charged tickets when he comes here. Shaking his head, Endless continued to walk a little further. Immediately at the main entrance of the museum hall, I saw the statue of the Flash. It's a big guy three meters tall. The Flash's red battle suit and the yellow lightning logo on the chest are reproduced. The whole statue shows a posture of running forward. The workmanship is quite fine. Endless praised did not make too much observation, and continued to walk into the hall. 
he quickly read everything in the Flash Museum. In fact, there is not much to see. After all, how long was the Flash in this central city? It's only a few months. The objects that can be put on display in the museum, except for the sculptures at the entrance of the hall, are all kinds of newspapers left behind after the Flash successfully captures the criminals. And various weapon fragments that have left traces when the opponent shot. Oh. There are also several photos of the Flash taken by journalists. As for the rest, there really is nothing. Shush. After visiting the entire museum, Endless gasped when he remembered the tickets he needed to buy before entering the museum. Slaughtered. He frowned and didn't mutter. Although Endless is not short of money now, as long as he wants, he can even get countless wealth. But those things, for Endless, are no more than one of the tools to complete the means. But. Rao is so which does not mean that Endless himself likes this feeling of being wronged. It's one thing not to care about money. Being wronged is another matter. Speechless. Endless couldn't help but whisper. Immediately, having already visited the entire museum, he was ready to leave the museum. However, just as he walked towards the museum hall, but when he arrived at the back door, there was a strong and incomparable fluctuation of killing intent. Endless, who has the ability of the mind, has a strong sense of crisis and murder. I've just arrived in this central city, and I've been targeted. Endless, who felt the murderous opportunity, was immediately puzzled, logically speaking, no one in the DC world should hate me, Gotham and Metropolis don't, and Central City shouldn't be. The reason why he came up with such an idea is because he has no enemies in the DC world. Or rather, there are no enemies who are still alive. There is even a psychic ability in hand, and no one remembers him at all. All the guys who have been provoked in the DC world have become dead bodies at this moment. That's why Endless is weird. Moreover, after I came to Central City, I didn't show my ability. How did it get topped? And this killing force is still so strong. He frowned suddenly, and looked in the direction from which the sense of crisis came. Definitely. Endless was only puzzled by this sudden killing intent, I don't know where it came from, but there was no panic. And just as Endless turned his head, I saw a masked figure slowly walking out of the back door and standing in front of a photo of the Flash. Then the person who couldn't see the face clearly stared at the photo of the Flash, and the feeling of crisis on his body became more and more deep. Endless narrowed his eyes. It seems that this guy is not coming at me, but has a conflict with the Flash. The mind goes on and on. Endless released the mind fluctuations and shrouded the past towards the other party. Immediately, on this guy with a covered face, he detected an extremely terrifying killing intent. Obviously, this killing intent is aimed at the Flash. Is it the Flash's old rival? Endless noticed this and immediately began to search his mind for all kinds of information about the Flash. See if you can find this person's existence in various versions of the Flash comics and film and television series. It's a pity. Then, Endless secretly sighed, it's still not sure what the situation is in the central city of this universe. The Flash in different universes has its own differences. There are even universes where there are multiple the Flash at the same time. It's not even clear what version the Flash is, let alone its opponent. Thinking of this, Endless size flickered, if I can, I hope to find the Flash Barry. Alan, he is definitely the most potential being in the Flash. 99. After all, a lot of messes in the Justice League are finally left to him who can go back in time to solve. 
it was when Endless was on his mind. The masked figure standing in place suddenly sensed something and projected his gaze towards Endless. Ha! Huh. Endless was not panicked at all. However, when he looked at the masked man, Endless found that the other party's eyes were filled with a cold as ice murderous intention, which was obviously not something ordinary people could have. The other side. The masked man standing in front of the flash photo did not react strangely after withdrawing his indifferent gaze. Just began to lift his feet and walk towards the outside of the museum hall. Perhaps, follow this guy and find the flash. Endless thought so, just about to catch up. Rumble. A violent explosion suddenly spread, and the ground trembled. I could smell a very clear, a da, smell of gunpowder, which diffused in the air. At the same time, there are many other visitors in the museum, who were really frightened by the explosion. Time. Roar, cries, screams. All kinds of voices with negative emotions spread in the museum in an instant. Endless narrowed his eyes and hurried over in the direction from which the explosion came. After walking a few steps, I saw rubble everywhere. The flash sculpture at the entrance of the hall was blown to pieces. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Meantime. It seems that the guy just did it, and he has such a strong hostility to the flash, it will definitely not be a simple look at the flash's photos. 35. Endless relied on the information he had in his hands and immediately reasoned the truth. It's just that he didn't rush to pursue the other party. After all, the person is here to target the Flash, so he will naturally lead the Flash out after the action. And that's what Endless wants. Thereupon. Endless is not in a hurry, but waits for the moment when the Flash appears. Not for long. Police from Central City arrived at the scene. The museum hall was quickly blocked. And Endless stood not far away and watched. Then. A familiar name sounded in his ears. Barry. Come over here. This is the name of the Flash. Endless sighs lit up and looked in the direction from which the voice came. I saw a thin young man, following the usual guidance of the scene coming to the shattered the flash sculpture. I didn't expect the person I was looking for to come to me so quickly. Endless recognized the identity of the other party. Exactly the flash Barry. Alan. The other side. Barry. Alan took the camera and walked to the scene of the explosion. He is a physical evidence scientist at the police department. It is the person who investigates the crime scene. Barry. After greeting Raw with the staff present, Alan crossed the cordon, narrowed his eyes, and leaned over to observe the shattered statue of the Flash. Then, the camera in Juch's hand began to record all the details of the scene. Not far away. Endless has turned on supervision, opposite Barry. Alan's body, zoomed in to the extent that he could directly observe the cells in his body. The activity of cells in his body, as well as the metabolism speed of various tissues and organs in the body, far exceeds that of ordinary people. However, all cells in such an internal environment, the rate of aging is slower than that of ordinary people. After noticing the difference in the other party's body, Endless slightly hooked the corners of his mouth, now it can be determined that this person is the flash of this universe, and there is no situation of duplicate names. I didn't expect to be so lucky in this search for someone. Before he even began to set out to look for it, the other party took the initiative to send it to him. Thoughtful. Endless urged supervision again, magnifying Barry's view. Alan. It has come to a point where you can observe things at the nanoscale. Barry. Every cell of Alan, in endless size at this moment, 
is enough to have a grinding disk file size. Meantime, he also observed a special energy similar to lightning in the nucleus of the other party. It seems that this is the speed of God. Endless muttered. Between the words, there was a feeling of expectation. Just find Barry. Alan, the next successful replication of the divine speed power will be a sure thing. And, now it's time to run into criminals targeting the Flash. As long as you follow each other, then you can quickly complete the copy. Thinking. The smile on Endless' face was even bigger. Meanwhile. Barry. Alan also completed the collection of physical evidence at the scene. See Joe as an adoptive father. West came over, and he immediately asked, Is anyone injured at the scene? Nope. Joe. West's expression was a little solemn, obviously. The guy who planted the bomb came to blow up the statue of the Flash, and I don't know who the Flash has a grudge against. Barry. When Alan heard this, his eyes narrowed and flickered, as if he was thinking about something, and fell silent. I don't know, maybe the Flash has been in the limelight lately and accidentally provoked someone. After a short while, he smiled. Subsequently. Barry, who has already taken physical evidence. Alan, began to find the tourists who stayed at the scene to take notes. Endless is naturally among them. Barry. Alan took a pen and paper and a tape recorder and found Endless. Did you see anything suspicious before the explosion? 35. He asked. I saw a masked man in front of the Flash for a long time. 35. As soon as he left, the sculpture exploded. Endless answer almost said that the masked man was the one who did it, and directly said it to the other party. After all, the person he needs now, the Flash to get out of the criminal as soon as possible, and then launch ability to replicate himself. If you can, Endless still likes to choose a way that doesn't hurt and anger, and copy it to ability. You go and take out the monitoring before the explosion first and then go over when I finish the record. Barry. Alan suddenly turned to Joe. West said. Forthwith. The latter also heard Endless' words, so he didn't say anything more, turned around and went to the monitoring room. And Barry. Alan, on the other hand, immediately continued the work of the pen admission certificate just now. The tourists present were recorded last night, and the evidence collection was completed. Barry. Alan sorted out all the transcripts and prepared to go to the monitoring room to see the masked man Endless had mentioned earlier. Monitoring is also an important evidence to solve a crime. As a result, he just turned around. Boom. On another street not far away. There was a huge amount of explosion again. Even the ground, and all the objects in the museum, are trembling. Something happened again. Barry. When Alan heard the voice, the expression on his face suddenly froze. When he first heard that the criminal who planted the bomb had come specifically to target the Flash, he had been in a bad mood. Unexpectedly, after a while, there was another explosion. Thereupon. At the moment when the explosion sounded. Barry. Alan didn't even have half a point of hesitation, he directly dropped the thing in his hand, took a step and rushed in the direction where the explosion came. Rumble. With a earth-shattering explosion, the entire ground was shaking, and even all the items in the Lightning Museum were trembling. Did that guy do it again? Barry, who was about to walk towards the monitoring room. Alan, immediately realized that the person who caused this second explosion was most likely the same person who caused the museum explosion tilde. 
and that guy, apparently for the flash coming. This makes Barry. Alan's heart tightened, he was already jealous as a hater, and if the people in the city were implicated for his own sake, he couldn't accept it. Thereupon. Barry. Alan walked quickly to an unoccupied corner. A golden arc flashed on his body. The next moment. Raw. The thing in his hand fell to the ground, and he himself was wrapped in endless golden arcs, turning into an afterimage that ordinary people could not capture, and rushed straight out in the direction from which the explosion came. Keep an eye on Barry. Alan's endless, because of his super speed, his reaction power is beyond ordinary people, so he still sees the former figure that rushed out in front of him. It's just that you can see Barry, who can see it, but burst out with divine speed. Alan, in endless size, is not clear where to go, there is still an after image. This means that the flash speed is much faster than the current endless. I'm looking forward to speedy power more and more. 99. Endless was not surprised by this, the speed force of God was about to be copied than him, naturally the stronger the better. But now that his goal has appeared, he naturally can't stay in place all the time. Immediately, everyone else in the hall panicked and shouted. Endless also quietly retreated to a corner where no one noticed controlled the position to distort the light, and his figure gradually became transparent and disappeared in the eyes of ordinary people. Subsequently, raw. The people in the museum hall felt a strong wind blowing fiercely in the museum. Everyone was even more shocked for a while, thinking that there was another explosion at the scene, fearing that they would be affected by it, and squatting down with their heads in pieces. However, after a while, they found that they were all safe. Could it be that there is a problem with the air conditioning in the museum? For a time, some people couldn't help but wonder. More people were worried, and there were one explosion after another in the city, and it was not known whether there would be casualties. Meanwhile, on the street a few streets away from the Lightning Museum, Rumble, Rumble. Violent outbreaks are still happening. One after another, gunpowder smoke is everywhere. Countless buildings shattered into huge potholes in the firelight, and large pieces of building debris splashed out. The whole street was frightened and ran away holding their heads. Rumble. This is a tall building that has already exploded once before and the middle section of the tall building with a huge gap has exploded again. Huge amounts of concrete, glass, and steel bars splashed rapidly, and at the same time, the building could no longer support it, and the first half of the explosion was already smashing towards the crowd on the road. Meanwhile, there are also many people in this section of the building that is smashed down. When it lands, I'm afraid it will affect at least hundreds of thousands of people. Ah. Uh. On the street, in the tall buildings, all the people who could not avoid it were already desperate and let out miserable screams. Raw. Just in time. A burst of brilliant golden brilliance flashed by. Those people on the streets, who were already obviously unable to escape, all disappeared in an instant. Another moment. Barry. Alan had just moved the people from the street, one by one, to a safe area. The golden lightning on his body flickered continuously. The divine speed force was once again triggered. Raw. He once again rushed towards the building that had been blown up and smashed into the ground in the first half at a speed infinitely close to the speed of light. At the moment, in Barry. In Alan's eyes, everything that happened was like being pressed to play a movie a thousand times slowly, and all the movement was frozen. The next moment. He accelerated again, 
stepped over the flying rubble in the air, and rushed into the half-cut building that had smashed into the ground. Golden brilliance shines across the entire building. The people inside the building, who were more desperate than everyone else, only felt a flower in front of them. When I came back to my senses, I found myself in a park two streets away from the explosion. Are you all right? Less than three seconds passed since the explosion and the building was about to topple, and hundreds of thousands of people were all moved to a safe area two streets away. Rumble. Right at this time. Everyone in the park felt a tremor on the ground, looked up, and saw two streets away, raising a skirrocketing dust and fog. I immediately reacted, this is the sound of the building falling to the ground just now. It's the flash. The flash saved us. There are people who quickly return to their senses after experiencing life and death, and immediately think of the truth. The other side. The stealthy endless was long overdue. TSK. I'm still nowhere near the speed of the flash. He looked at the empty street in front of him and couldn't help but sigh. The current endless simply can't keep up with the flash. Raw. This is the horizon, and once again a narrow golden lightning bolt spreads constantly. Endless narrowed his eyes. This is the flash deliberately slowing itself down. The golden lightning on the horizon is just golden lightning in the eyes of ordinary people. But in endless size, the figure of the flash can be clearly seen. You know, when the flash burst out at full speed before, even when he looked over, there were after images. I didn't expect that the guy the flash would not only protect the lives and safety of the people in Central City but also treat their psychology. 99. Endless laughed dumbly at the thought of this. Barry. Alan deliberately exposed himself after saving those people. It's all about appeasing victims who have been in danger, telling them that you're all right with me. Right at this moment. The Flash, 35. The Flash. Thank you. Thank you. Endless heard the golden lightning bolt that appeared on the horizon in the park two blocks away. Raw raised the name The Flash. They were cheering Raw for The Flash, and their faces were full of excitement. When Endless saw this scene, his face smiled even more, in Central City, The Flash will indeed be welcomed. Subsequently, he was ready to set off, heading towards where The Flash was in the distance closer to the past. After all, Endless copying ability can only work when it is close to a certain distance from the copying party. At a minimum, it needs to be within a range where you can feel the fluctuation of the other person's ability. However, Endless didn't have time to leave yet. Those in the safe area suddenly stopped their joy about the flash. Raw. I saw the golden lightning on the horizon stop abruptly. Then, a dark blue electric light actually flashed over an extremely long distance at an incredible speed. Rumble. The dark blue electric light was menacing, and it actually directly knocked the flash dozens of meters away. The latter could not react at all and slammed into a wall. Dense cracks spread out on that wall in an instant and smoke and dust were everywhere. That guy just now is also the owner of Divine Speed Force. No wonder there is so much hostility towards the Flash. Endless watched this scene from a distance and was a little surprised. It seems that in this universe, there are now two Divine Speed powers. Then his eyes fell on the Flash, which was slightly embarrassed against the wall, and suddenly thought of a sentence. I'm Barry. Alan, the fastest man in the world, however. Every season someone is faster than me. Looks like. Now Barry. Alan meets a new Godspeed Force owner. Judging from his confused situation, 
This guy obviously doesn't know anything about it, and it is estimated that he is the first time he has encountered other divine speeds. 5. Endless looked at Barry. Alan behaved and made such a judgment. And those who were saved by the Flash were shocked to see that there was anyone who could have the Flash's speed. At the same time, I began to worry about the Flash in my heart. Because they can clearly feel that the dark blue figure has obvious hostility to the Flash. As for Barry. Alan himself. After he got up from the ground, he shook his head, stood up and looked around with a twinkle in his eyes. As someone who had just faced that dark blue figure, Barry. Alan naturally knew that the comer was not good. In the moment before the collision, he already felt a wave of hostility coming from the surface. Meantime. Barry. Alan was still on the other party's body, feeling an extremely familiar breath. He was surprised to find that the ability aura emanating from the other party was exactly the same as his own. It's all god speed. And right in Barry. Alan was amazed. Raw. A brilliant blue light flashed, and a figure he had never seen before appeared in front of him. This is a masked man wearing black leather and carrying claw-shaped instruments on his hands. As soon as the masked man appeared, he looked at Barry defiantly. Alan glanced. A dark blue arc suddenly erupted from his body. Raw. The next moment. The other party's figure was only a blue light flashing between the cities. That's him. Barry. At this moment, Alan determined that the initiator of the two explosions just now was this guy. Moreover, the purpose of thinking about the other party is to lead out yourself. As for why this masked man did this, Barry. Alan felt that there was no time to dig deeper now. Catch this guy first. Raw. Barry. Alan's body suddenly shone with a golden arc, and instantly burst out of divine speed. He directly chased towards the blue figure. Suddenly. Between the entire central city, there was a scene of a golden light flashing rapidly, chasing the dark blue light. And Endless, who was in the distance, originally wanted to keep up. It's just that as soon as I was about to leave, I found myself thinking too much. Zero, asking for flowers. This speed is also much worse. Endless sighed helplessly. He found that at this stage he was far from keeping up with the flash speed. The golden, blue, and two flashing figures, dragging the taillight, quickly disappeared into Endless field of vision. And when Endless felt helpless, he had already guessed the identity of the dark blue lightning guy. If nothing else, this guy is a speedster. Endless looked at the direction in which the flash and the dark blue lightning disappeared narrowed his eyes slightly, and muttered. Speeder. A godspeed power owner from another Earth. His purpose in traveling through different universes is to plunder the abilities of other speedsters. And this time the other party deliberately sent Barry. Alan led it out, naturally on top of the latter's divine speed. Meanwhile. One gold, one basket and two figures. In the central city, the city is chasing each other. Each of them has their own divine speed power to the extreme. The speed of forward travel is also constantly approaching the speed of light. Each left behind him a ripple of gold and dark blue. They're in two. Endless didn't guess wrong. The man who ran in front, surrounded by dark blue lightning and burst out at extreme speed was the one who was the speedster. Hunter. Zolman. He came here to plunder Barry. Alan's supernatural power. While at the exit of a highway, the speedster defiantly glanced back at Barry, who had been chasing after him. Alan. Next second. The blue arc on the speedster's body suddenly became more and more dazzling, 
and his legs were running to the extreme. Speed up abruptly. Zero. Leaving a dark blue trail behind him, the air rippled. Roar. He rushed into the city. Damn. 33. Barry followed behind him. Alan at the moment, it has been determined that the ability that the other party has is the same speed as himself. In terms of speed, it turned out to be comparable to itself, and even vaguely exceeded a little. However, since they have already set their eyes on each other, it is impossible to give up so easily. Barry. Alan also suddenly increased his explosive speed at this time. An increasingly dazzling golden arc flashed in every corner of the body. Roar. Barry. Alan also exploded abruptly. Dead behind the speedster. Two figures who don't know how many times the speed of sound and are constantly approaching the speed of light, like a terrifying wind, passing through the city's large and small file-sized roads. When the figure burst past, the fierce wind brought by it lifted the tables and chairs on the side of the road, and the items in the hands of passers-by. People turned their heads and couldn't see the figures of the two at all, only felt that the air currents around them instantly became extremely violent. Clearly in front of their eyes. But there are places that cannot be seen with the naked eye. The speedster and the flash are racing like crazy. Ha! Huh. However. The speedster running ahead is about to recircle back to its original route. But he suddenly noticed that on the route he was going to take, there was a figure standing in the center of the road, as if waiting for him. I don't know if it's or not, this partner of the cosmic speeder. 35. The speedster was in his heart and thought to himself. However, he didn't care about this figure. It only takes him an instant to overtake this figure. However. What the speedster didn't know was that the figure standing in front of him was endless. The latter predicts the route that the other party is likely to pass through through the psychic fluctuations of the speedster. So I chose to wait here in advance and wait for the rabbit. But. The speedster naturally didn't know what endless thought, and didn't even look at endless more. He glanced back, followed by the flash behind him and a smug smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Then, accelerate again. Roar. The figure flashed over, bringing a terrifying air current, directly passing by Endless side. The next moment. Barry. Alan also noticed Endless and recognized the latter as the person who cooperated with him in taking notes during the day. But I didn't think much of it in my heart. It is probably just a coincidence. Otherwise, ordinary people can't see their speed at all, and it is possible to block the way of the two of them. Roar. The next moment, Barry. On Alan's body, a brilliant golden electric light erupted, suddenly accelerated, and also carelessly swept past endless with a fierce wind. There are only speeders in sight. And Endless stood in place, his clothes and hair were blown around by the fierce wind brought by the two speeders passing by. The corners of his mouth slowly outlined a satisfied smile. Just after the two of them passed by Endless side. In his mind, two cold prompts that copied the effect of ability suddenly sounded one after another. Battle detected, rewarded, Godspeed force, Barry. Alan. Battle detected, rewarded, Godspeed force, Hunter. Zolmont. Battle detected, rewarded, Godspeed force, Barry. Alan. Battle detected, rewarded, Godspeed force, Hunter. Zolmont, 35. One gold, one blue, two flashing electric lights bursting beyond Superman's speed of the figure burst from Endless' side. In his mind, 
the cold prompt sound of copying the ability to take effect successfully sounded one after another. Two divine speed forces are copied at the same time. After Endless heard two prompts, Rao's eyes lit up. Originally, his goal was just to gain a divine speed power and feel that it was enough. After all, even if it is just a god speed force, when it is first obtained, it can have a speed close to the speed of light. Moreover, there is also good room for growth after that. In endless expectation, after obtaining the power of divine speed, there is also the blessing of Krypton's bloodline, maybe he can reach the level of going back in time in a very short time. However, now I have obtained two divine speed powers, which completely overjoyed Endless. This is related to the fact that after harvesting several super strengths, these abilities can be superimposed on each other. If nothing else, then the current Endless already has twice the speed of the divine speed. Perhaps, now I have a speed faster than the speed of light and can travel through time and space. Endless Sighs couldn't help but widen and began to feel the changes in his body. Since then, he found that among all the cells in his body, there were already two more divine speed forces. They are gold, which comes from the Flash supernatural power. There is also the blue divine speed power that belongs to the speedster. Two different colors of divine speed force, in his nucleus, formed a small arc, constantly flashing. Between every cell, terrifying energy bursts out. At the same time, under the action of these two divine speeds, those cells began to transform rapidly. Originally, Endless Body, after obtaining a new bloodline with three bloodlines integrate, all the cells had already obtained 5 or 3 zero to metamorphosis. Whether it is vitality or the energy contained in cells, it is not comparable to ordinary humans. Even the average mutant is far inferior to Endless. It can be said that even if Endless is a single cell, the energy contained in it can be larger than the cells of ordinary human whole body combined. And in his body, there are hundreds of millions of cells. At the same time, these cells also have extraordinary activity. Every cell has the potential to completely divide into a body. This also means that the previous endless, as long as only one cell remains, he can be reborn through this cell. Even more terrifying than the so-called blood rebirth. However, it was this kind of cell with such terrifying activity and potential, when he harvested two divine speeds. It can actually enhance its internal energy and cell activity again. This is the horror of divine speed. In Barry. After Alan obtained the power of supervision, no matter how many injuries he suffered, it only took one day to fully repair. If those minor injuries are minor, it may only take a few seconds, or even an instant, to recover. Because of his cell activity and metabolic rate, under the blessing of divine speed, far beyond ordinary people. And now, Endless has obtained two divine speed powers at the same time. Its already terrifying cell activity has been sublimated. Definitely. The increase in cell activity brought about by the speed force is not the biggest surprise for Endless. What excites Endless the most is the speed blessing brought by the speed of the divine speed. However, what? Just when Endless felt that the strengthening brought by the speed of God was enough, he suddenly found that there was a new change in his body. That is the brand new bloodline in his body, which is composed of three bloodlines and integrates, and under the action of the divine speed force, it actually began to accelerate the improvement speed of Endless's body. Moreover, it has doubled by a whole. It's incredible. Originally, when I harvested the speed power, I thought that I could just give me speed. Endless felt his already terrifying enough strength improvement speed, and once again rose a level, shocked. 
But now, not only the two divine speed powers that I have unexpectedly gained, but I can greatly increase my speed and improve my timely combat power. Moreover, can you improve the speed of my strength after that? He took a deep breath, his eyes flickering, this trip, it's really the right one. However, just when Endless was already satisfied. But I found that after I harvested the divine speed power, the changes in my body were far from stopping. Just now, it was the divine speed force that acted on his new bloodline, making the latter move faster. And now, with the Kryptonian bloodline, this new bloodline that will maximize the potential has actually begun to increase its divine speed. In endless cells, those constantly flashing gold and blue arcs, under the action of the bloodline, began to rapidly integrate. Two colors, slowly integrated into a white new god speed power. Burst out with more power. Yes. After Endless made this discovery, he was stunned for a moment, and then the joy on his face became more and more intense, although the divine speed force is an ability, it is also an objectively existing independent energy body like the bloodline. Therefore, the divine speed power is also like the bloodline, and it can receive the blessing of the bloodline. He was lamenting. The two divine speed forces in all cells are also beginning to rapidly integrate. In the nucleus, white arcs are getting more and more. Then, Endless seemed to have a feeling. It's like, if I can use the god speed force, then I can accelerate the speed of the two god speed forces integrate. He looked at the two divine speed forces that gradually integrated and made such a discovery. In that case, Endless muttered, looking up in the direction where the flash and the speeder had disappeared. Then let's race, Harriers. A smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and a white shining arc gradually appeared on his body. Raw. Next second. Endless figure suddenly turned into a blur, and he rushed out at a speed that was only a little limited distance from the speed of light. Raw. For a while, the air in the entire central city was torn up because he started running. The terrifying wind began to roar, and even the clouds in the sky began to drift with his movement. Before Endless couldn't keep up with the flash and the speedster. But in the blink of an eye, he had already begun to approach the latter at a speed almost twice that of the other two. The other side. Raw. The flash Barry. Alan's body shone with golden arcs, and the whole person turned into a golden stream, bursting out of his maximum speed, chasing the speed man in front of him. He frowned, his eyes stared seriously at the speedster running in front of him, the whole person exuding a blue arc, and the mood in his heart gradually became heavy. For the first time. This is the first time since he obtained the power of divine speed that he has met someone whose speed is not inferior to himself. Even, Barry. Alan also felt that the speedster, who had been keeping a distance from him, had not actually burst out at full speed. Because, even if there is a small difference between the speed of the two, under such a high-speed run, the distance between the two of them will also slowly change. But not at all. Barry. Alan couldn't help but roar in his heart. Since he started chasing this guy, the distance between them has not even changed in the slightest. Then the facts speak for themselves. The other party is better than himself in terms of speed. Deliberately maintaining a distance is completely to play on himself. Damn. Damn it. Who the hell are you? Barry. After Alan made such a discovery, the emotions in his heart became more and more urgent. You know, when he just obtained the power of divine speed, he could feel that he had become the fastest running person in the world. However. 
the guy who suddenly appeared with the blue divine speed power actually hit himself in the face. And at the end of the day, Barry. Alan is just a young man who has just graduated and entered society. When I found such a situation, I naturally felt unwilling to admit defeat. Moreover, even without talking about it. As a police worker, Barry Allen also has no intention of sparing the perpetrator who caused explosions in the city and caused panic. Even, if there is no The Flash. Then the two bombs placed by the other party in the city today are not as simple as just causing panic directly may lead to the death of hundreds of thousands of people. Unforgivable. Barry. The more Alan thought about it, the more angry he felt, and in an instant, the shining golden arc on his body became more and more dense. The speed under your feet begins to gradually increase. Because of his mood at the moment, he broke through a bottleneck. Raw. The two streams turned into two streams dragged out two rapid trajectories, like two meteors, shuttling through the streets and alleys of the central city and various roads. The surrounding past, in their eyes, has become a blur of different color blocks, which is constantly receding at an unimaginable speed. Barry burst out suddenly. Alan, also in the process began to gradually begin to close the distance with the speedster. However, right at this time, the speedster running in front suddenly looked back and smiled. Didn't speak. But there was contempt in this smile. Barry. Seeing this, Alan couldn't help but frown, and suddenly felt wrong. Really. Just as the two sides chased each other to the edge of the city, the speeder who had been running in front of him actually accelerated again. The dense blue arc wrapped around its body became more and more dazzling at this time. The blue trail dragged behind him became more and more dazzling. Raw. The speedster began to turn direction and run towards the suburbs outside the central city. At the same time, the distance between you and the flash has once again been opened. Damn. Barry. Seeing this, Alan couldn't help cursing, and quickly gritted his teeth to frantically maintain his speed and chased after the other party. And after the rapids distanced, they once again maintained the distance between themselves and the flash within a fixed range. He was really playing the flash, deliberately provoking him. You stop me. On the trail lined with farmland on both sides of the suburbs, Barry. Alan couldn't help but roar. Outcome. The next moment. The speedster running in front actually suddenly slowed down and stopped. Rumble. As he forcibly stopped, the air in front of him was actually blasted out with a violent bang at this time. Even the ground, which could not withstand it collapsed into a deep pit with a diameter of hundreds of meters, and the dust flew. Ha! Huh. Seeing this, the flash snorted suspiciously, and then forcibly stopped his figure. Rumble. The same bang, the same dust and fog. Roar. At this moment, behind them, the fierce wind brought by the running finally caught up, directly blowing away the dust that filled the air. Barry. Alan looked at the person in front of him with serious eyes. And the rapid one also slowly turned around. The twins stood in confrontation. You're a special person, I can feel it, just when we were chasing, you broke through the limit several times. The speed started to get faster. Then. The speedster spoke, although the mask could not see his face clearly but he could hear the smile in the words, that's why I've been playing with you for so long, just hoping to see what kind of breakthrough you can reach. But unfortunately, after chasing for so long and improving so many times, your speed is still too slow for me. 99. Saying that, 
the speedster shook his head with slight disappointment. Why are you blowing up the streets? Barry. Alan paused when he heard this, did not dwell on the problem of speed, but wanted to know the reason for the other party's crime. You should know very well in your heart that it is just to lure you out. The speedster tilted his head, deprive you of your divine speed. Is it because of this reason that so many people are in danger of putting their lives in danger? Barry. Allington was angry, the other party is completely a guy who regards human life as grass. The golden arc on the body suddenly shone dazzlingly, and the figure burst into terrifying speed, suddenly rushing towards the other party. Raw. Dajdaj. Hunter, the speedster on the opposite side, also chuckled, and the blue arc on his body jumped, and the same explosion disappeared in place. Raw raw raw. The brilliant light of gold and blue is suddenly intertwined. Constantly spin, sublimation. In a very small range, the two burst out at an extraordinary speed and chased frantically. The air within a radius of thousands of meters was triggered by the two of them spinning and chasing among the rice fields, and began to converge towards them, forming a tornado that exuded terrifying power. The crops in the surrounding rice fields were also uprooted by the strong wind and floated towards the tornado. However, whether it's a long-distance chase or a clash at a very small range, Barry Alan is only a little bit behind in any case, but he can't touch each other. This actually means that there is a huge gap between the two sides. The speedster is just teasing him. Damn. Barry. The anger in the heart of Alan 3.0 is getting heavier. Yet at this very moment. A white light flashed in the sky. Rumble. Barry running at high speed. Alan, suddenly felt an oncoming gust of wind, directly knocking them out. What is that thing? Hunter the speedster turned to see Barry. Alan was hit by a white light and shocked in his heart. How can there be a speed in this world that I can't see? He didn't see clearly what that white light was. Yet the next second... As the speedster turns his head back. The shock in my heart suddenly turned into horror. The figure came around in front of him some time. When I turned my head, I saw that the man had already run in front of him. When did he come over? Was that white light just now him? Seeing this, Hunter the speedster's face changed greatly, and he panicked in his heart and he slipped under his feet and fell to the ground. Rumble. The whole person, who was originally running at high speed, fell directly into the rice field that had been balled next to him, and the land was washed out of a shallow ditch. Damn. 35. Hunter the speedster groaned in pain and stood up, and then he saw a familiar figure. The expression on his face slowly froze as if he couldn't believe his eyes. The owner of that figure is endless. Before he was in the city with the Flash, he met the beautiful boy. How did he catch up with himself? He is also a Godspeed power owner. And even then it is impossible, it is impossible that someone will run so fast. Hunter the Speedster was full of shock, they had just run from the city center to this place a long time early. It is impossible for the other party to run here in such a short time. However, Hunter could not have imagined that the running speed of the young man in front of him had long been able to transcend time and space. Sudden change. Let the flash bury. Alan and Hunter the speedster both immediately hung in their hearts. What they have experienced at this moment is too strange and unimaginable. They had never experienced anything like this before. As for Endless, he didn't feel much surprise. Because he knows that when an object moves faster than the speed of light, 
it can achieve the effect of traveling through time and space. If nothing else, we should be traveling through time right now. 99. Endless thought silently. Definitely, after all, for the first time, and now he couldn't be sure what kind of time they would end up in. Just when several people have different thoughts. Raw. Everything that has just been experienced seems to have disappeared at this time. Things that were distorted in the vision before began to gradually take shape. Raw. Above an endless desert. A brilliant and gorgeous white light galloped from the horizon, leaving a white trail above the ground. Everywhere that white light passed, there was a sharp and piercing sonic boom. There is also a strong airflow born out of thin air, rushing in all directions, sweeping up the dust and fog that covers the sky, and the mighty and rolling endlessly. That white light, in just a few seconds, has already crossed a million kilometers. From the barren desert, I came to a jungle full of tall tropical trees. Rumble. Until now. This white light suddenly stopped. Three figures gradually emerged. It was the three endless. The Flash Barry. Alan and Hunter the Speedster stood on either side of Endless, their eyes quickly surveying their surroundings, acting shocked. They had just seen a speed far beyond themselves, and they were so fast that they couldn't see anything around them. All the changes that came after were beyond their comprehension. Now, finally able to keep their feet on the ground, the two even felt their legs a little soft. Which is it? Barry. Alan looked up at the little sunlight casting through the thick foliage of the plants. Hunter, the speedster on the side, also looked at Endless at the same time. And Endless didn't answer them. He clearly knew that just now, they were not only moving in space. It's across time. Now Endless and the three of them, if nothing else, should be back in time. I don't know about this place either, but... Endless took a deep breath, and at the same time raised his head and looked at the surrounding plants. The oxygen concentration here is very high. 99. The file size of the leaves, the height and thickness of the branches far exceeded the file size that should exist in modern times. Even grass that grows on the ground is at least one meter long. And the flash barry. Alan and Hunter the speedster, IQ and knowledge reserve are not low. Hear endless words. Look at these strange plants and landscapes around. Then think of everything that the people have just experienced, and what comes to mind at the same time. Hunter the speedster was a little shocked for a while, and some thoughts appeared in his heart, but he was not sure if it was true. Right at this time. Roar. Heaven and earth suddenly began to blow Roar's howling wind, blowing the huge trees around several people to swing continuously. Ah. Uh. At the same time. Above the sky, a large shadow is cast. There was also a sound that resembled birdsong. When everyone looked for prestige, they saw that in the sky, a huge bird and beast with a strange head and membrane wings flew over. The bird and beast were several meters long, and there was not the slightest feather on its body. This is... Barry. The moment Alan saw this huge bird and beast, he was immediately shocked raw, his eyes were round and he seemed to be a little unable to believe his eyes. Hunter, the speedster on the side, also raised his head, his eyes were straight, and he could not speak for a long time. Raw. Until this huge amount of birds and beasts leapt over the heads of several people. This is a pterosaur. Only then did Endless take a deep breath and slowly speak. Raw. After the pterosaur overhead flew overhead, there was a gust of wind behind him, blowing towards the location of everyone. Because the Flash and Speedster Hunter were wearing uniform tights, they were not affected. 
but endless, dressed in his regular clothes, was blown so that his hair fluttered, and his robes were hunting. You. Take us through time. Only after the wind gradually subsided did Hunter look at Endless with a trembling voice, is your divine speed power already so powerful? Although he had heard that divine speed force could go back in time and space, it was impossible to be as relaxed as the teenager in front of him. Without making any adjustments, he directly mentioned two people and travelled back tens of thousands of years. What? Are we travelling through time now? Barry. When Alan heard this, he immediately fell into shock, can the speed force still travel through time and space? Although it was the first time he heard the word Shinsulai, he also quickly understood the common ground of the existence of several of them. Immediately I understood that the ability I had that could increase my speed was called God Speed Force. He was also shocked that such an ability could travel through time and space. Barry. Alan was rapidly surveying his surroundings. He actually traveled through time and space, and sighed at the strength of Endless. At the same time, I can't help but think in my heart. If the speed force can really travel through time and space, then can you travel back in time to change the tragedy that happened to you before? The speed force is so amazing, it's not just about running. Endless replied, also with some emotion in his heart. It turns out that traveling back in time and space is such a magical thing. He also experienced such a thing for the first time. And after stopping Endless words. Either Barry. Both Alan and Hunter the speedster fell into a brief silence. How does it feel in your mouth, surpassing the speed of light is a simple thing. At this time Barry. Alan couldn't help but glance at Endless and asked, so, do you have a way to go back now? 5. When Endless heard this, he paused. To be honest, since the speed of God can travel through the past, then naturally there is a means to return to the future. But now he has just obtained the power of divine speed. And it is also the first time to travel through time and space. Whether or not we can return to the original era is not necessarily stable. However, Endless has another ability dimension teleportation. His means of shuttling between DC and Marvel, since he can travel through different worlds, can naturally travel through different timelines. And this dimension includes the dimensions of space and time. Even if Endless is not skilled enough to use divine speed power to travel through time and space now, he can completely use dimensional teleportation to send himself back to the future stably. It's easy to go back. 35. Endless said slowly. In that case, Although the current experience of traveling back tens of thousands of years is very interesting, I still think we should go back now. Barry. Alan breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this. If you go back, of course, you can, but before I go back, I need to solve some trouble. Endless spoke slowly, his tone very calm. At the same time, he set his sights on Hunter the Speedster. You were eyeing my divine speed before, right? His tone was soft, and there was even a gentle smile on his face. In addition, what he did not say was that this speedster would cause a lot of trouble in the future. And the other party has divine speed, even in the super ancient when various ancient creatures were rampant tens of thousands of years ago, they naturally have the ability to live. Meantime. Maybe one day in the future, his divine speed power can also evolve to the level of traveling through time and space. There is already the potential to cause trouble. So. Endless wasn't ready to take him back. Damn. 99. Hunter the Speedster is also a person with rich experience, and the moment Endless gazes on him, 
This guy has already felt strong hostility. Raw. He was not hesitation, and the surface of his body instantly flashed a dark blue arc. The speed of God was urged to the extreme by him. Hunter the speedster turned and ran, the dark blue luster burst out, and the surrounding air was rippled out of rounds. A brilliant blue luster instantly dragged out a long and tortuous blue trail in this jungle full of super ancient tall trees. But in an instant, Hunter the speedster had already rushed out thousands of meters away. And then, a white light flickered in his field of vision. Endless stood in front of him and raised his hand forward. Burst. Everything happened so quickly that by the time the speedster reacted, it was too late to slow down or turn a corner. The yellow-skinned boy in front of him just stood in place. Hunter the speedster was as if he had actively hit the opponent's hand with his chest. Skin, muscles, sternum, lungs, spine. Instantly penetrated. Endless blood-stained, white hand like white jade protruded from behind his back. You. Ahem. Hunter the speedster felt his body temperature and life force rushing down the big hole in his chest. His eyes were already pupils, covered with dense bloodshots, and he opened his mouth to say something, but he was blocked by the blood foam rushing up his throat. Endless slowly withdrew his hand from the other party's chest, his eyes full of indifference, sorry, I can't keep you. Poof. Hunter the speedster's body softened and slammed into the ground, his eyes had lost all brilliance, and he couldn't hear what Endless said. Gollum. Barry in the distance. Alan looked at the other party's fallen corpse, looked at Endless, who looked indifferent, and swallowed spit. In his ears, echoing what the latter had just said in his mouth. Fortunately, I am not Endless's enemy. Barry. Alan thought with some gratitude. Endless strength has completely exceeded his imagination. The other side. Endless raised his head, and the white arc on his body flashed. Raw. In an instant, he crossed a distance of thousands of meters and burst into Barry. In front of Alan. Ready to go. He said lightly. Good. Barry. Alan took a deep breath, he was now a little resistant to Endless. After all, the scene just now, even for a physical witness, was a little too brutal and bloody. Then, Endless put his hand on Barry. Alan on his shoulders. The reason why he stayed in Barry. Alan didn't look at the identity of the Flash. I want to verify one more thing. What's wrong? Barry. Alan felt endless scaze and stopped at his own body in doubt. I'm also a little afraid that the other person will do something terrible. Don't be nervous, I'm just thinking about something. Endless noticed the change in his mood and immediately chuckled, I'm not a red-eyed butcher. 99. Barry. Alan swallowed and nodded, and then weakly found a reason for the fear. I was just thinking about the wonderful experience of shuttling just now. Endless glanced at the other party and raised his eyebrows, wait for a better experience. 9. In fact. What Endless wants to verify is whether he can teleport with other people. If you can, there will be a lot more room for maneuver to establish the mutant country in the future. Thoughts fell. Endless slowly closed his eyes, and he felt that he was in the DC universe, leaving a few coordinates. Gotham, Metropolitan and Central City respectively. Three coordinates clearly appeared in Endless Perception, and then the flow of time in these places was also felt. Ready, let's go. Endless said, his hand stretched forward, and the space in front of him was like a piece of drawing paper which he grabbed and wrinkled. Then. Tela. 
the space was torn open by Endless through a dimensional space channel. This spatial channel can not only connect different spaces, but also contain different times. Let's go. Endless looked at Barry. Alan glanced, then pressed the other party's shoulder and walked into the spatial passage together. Hum. When the two entered it, the space passage was closed. DC Universe 10,000 years later Center City The space rippled, and then the figures of Endless and the Flash appeared out of thin air on the outskirts where they had appeared before. It's back. Barry next to Endless. Alan, seeing this scene, couldn't help but sigh. As for Endless's face, Joy also appeared. Dimensional teleportation, you can bring people. In with Barry. Alan said goodbye after separating. A bold idea appeared in Endless's mind. Although there is no suitable, Li Hao, ability in the DC universe for the time being, it can be worth a special trip for him to copy. But he's not ready to go back to Marvel yet. He was ready to go to the black-robed pickets. Previously, I felt that I was not skilled in dimensional teleportation, and I couldn't accurately shuttle to the world of black robes. Now he felt the time was right to give it a try. After all, there are many super abilities in the world of black robes, as well as the infamous Homelander. That is, many American comic fans often say that vile fellow countrymen. His ability is similar to the Keo and it is not very weak, and can be copied and superimposed on the body. Anyway, no one will think that there are many abilities, not to mention that Endless's ability is infinitely superimposed, and the ability is strong enough after waiting. You can recklessly copy in various worlds and constantly superimpose and become stronger. Thinking Endless calmed down. He was traveling through the world outside of Marvel DC for the first time, and he didn't know if he could succeed. With it. The space in front of him wrinkled, and then the folded and broken space gradually tore apart, instantly generating huge amounts of suction to suck Endless in. Raw. Next second. The entire alley was empty and fell silent. Meanwhile. Another universe beyond DC. I saw that on the street of a prosperous city, a figure walked out of Endless, who walked out with some uncertainty. Hoping to find information about the black-robed pickets, I didn't expect to come out and look up to see an iconic character my. Saw. A building has a portrait of six huge amounts of six on the advertising space, the most conspicuous and in position C. It was a man dressed in a tight-fitting cape. The man in the portrait has a stiff and kind smile on his face, giving people a very kind and friendly feeling. The cape is emblazoned with the Star of America, symbolizing that he is a heavyweight of this country. This person is the representative of this country, the current society. Homelander. That's it guys hope you like this video. Like share and subscribe the channel if you want more videos like this. Also tell me in the comment section down below if you have any recommendation about what I should make next. Thanks for watching.